Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have this quick and easy vest. It's perfect for beginners and it works up pretty fast. You just need a weight of 4 yarn and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I make a size small in this video and you can find other sizes on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. And the yarn I used was a Touch of Alpaca from Line Brand in the shade olive and I used about four balls of yarn for the size small. We're going to start off with our back panel and we're going to chain 13. Then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then continue with single crochet into every chain all the way across. At the end of the row chain one and then turn your work. And now we're going to be working into the back loop of every stitch. So into the back loop of every stitch place one single crochet all the way across and then you're going to repeat this row until the end of row 63. So for demonstration purposes I've just done a small little swatch but you will have 63 rows. So from here on we are going to work single crochet all the way across the top here so we're going to chain one and you're going to make 63 single crochet all the way across for row two chain one and then turn your work into that very first stitch make one single crochet into the next make one double crochet then single crochet into the next and then double crochet into the next and you're going to repeat that all the way across Here we are towards the end of the row and your last stitch should be a single crochet. For row three, chain three, then turn your work. This chain three counts as your first double crochet so skip that very first stitch and then into the next make one single crochet then double crochet into the next single crochet into the next and then double crochet into the next and you're going to repeat that all the way across And here we are towards the end of the row and your last stitch should be a double crochet. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to repeat row 2 and 3 until the end of row 35. So now your back panel should look like this. It's just one big square. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to shape our armholes. So continuing on from where you are now, we're not going to make a chain one. We're just going to slip stitch into the next five stitches. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into that same stitch 
then double crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next and then double crochet into the next and continue all the way across leaving the last four stitches unworked so here I've left the last four stitches unworked so from here chain one and then turn your work and now we're going to single crochet two together so insert your hook pull your yarn through insert your hook into the next stitch pull your yarn through you should have three loops on your hook then yarn over and pull through all three then double crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next double crochet into the next and you're going to repeat that all the way across until two stitches remain and now we're going to single crochet two together so once again insert your hook into that next stitch pull your yarn through insert your hook into the next pull your yarn through then yarn, or yarn over and pull through all three chain one and then turn your work then you're going to single crochet two together double crochet into the next single crochet into the next stitch and you're going to repeat that all the way across until two stitches remain so once you have two stitches remaining we're going to single crochet two together So from here on we're just going to do regular rows there's going to be no decreasing so we're going to chain three and then turn your work this chain three counts as your first stitch so into the next single crochet then into the next double crochet and you're going to repeat that all the way across and then after this row you're going to do another 24 rows in pattern so your next row you're going to start with a chain one single crochet into the first stitch double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that and just keep going until you have a further 24 rows after this row completed so now your back panel should start to look like this and you're going to just go ahead and fasten off and we're going to start our front panels the front panels are made the same way as the back panel the only difference is you're going to start off with fewer stitches so as I said the front panels are made the same way as the back panel the only difference is you're going to do 23 rows of single crochet back loop only and then you're just going to work your normal pattern up as far as your armhole and you're just going to decrease the same way as you did for your back panel and then just do the same thing just just basically do the same thing as your back panel and then you're going to fasten off and you're going to leave a long tail and you're going to go ahead and make the second front panel the same way as this one so once your two front panels are finished you're going to lay them on top of your back panel and you're going to seam across the shoulders and up along the sides making sure to leave your armholes open then you're going to turn your work the right side out and you're going to attach your yarn to the bottom right hand corner and you're going to single crochet all the way around this inner edge until you reach the other side so you're going to go ahead and insert your hook into that bottom corner and then you're going to grab your yarn and just pull that through and then you're just going to tie a knot Then you're going to insert your hook pull your yarn through and then chain one then you're going to single crochet into that same stitch and you're going to continue placing a single crochet all the way around this inner edge until you reach the other side
So once you've single crocheted all the way across, you're going to grab four stitch markers. Each of these four stitch markers is going to be a buttonhole. So I marked every 11th stitch. So I counted from the bottom 11 stitches up. Then I counted 11 stitches from this one. And then I just continued placing a stitch marker into every 11th stitch. So continuing on from where you are now, we're going to chain 13. Then you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each of the next 11 chains. So now you should have 12 single crochet all together. So next we're going to make two slip stitches. So skip that first stitch into the next stitch, make a slip stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Then you're going to turn your work And you're going to skip over those two sti slip stitches and then you're going to work 12 single crochet working into the back loop only. So next we're going to chain one, turn your work, you're going to make 12 single crochet working into the back loop only. So here we have our 12 single crochet completed and then we're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch, into the next two stitches. And you're just going to repeat that, you're going to turn your work, skip over those two slip stitches, then make 12 single crochet working into the back loop only. And then at the end of this row, you're going to chain one, turn your work, make 12 single crochet working into the back loop only, and then slip stitch into the next two stitches. And you're going to repeat that until you reach your first stitch marker. So here I've ended two stitches before the stitch marker. So we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. We're going to take out our stitch marker and slip stitch into that stitch too. And then we're going to turn our work and we're going to skip over those two slip stitches. And we're going to work six single crochet working into the back loop only. Then we're going to chain two, skip the next stitch and then single crochet into each of the remaining single crochets working into the back loop only.
then you're going to chain one and turn your work then you're going to make five single crochet working into the back loop only When you reach your chain two space, you're just going to place one single crochet into that space. Then you're going to make six single crochet working into the back loop only. And then you're just going to slip stitch into the next two stitches. And then you're just going to turn your work, skip over those two slip stitches. Then you're going to make 12 single crochet working into the back loop only. And then at the end of the row, you're going to chain one, turn your work, single crochet 12 working into the back loop only and then slip stitch into the next two stitches. And you're going to keep repeating that until you reach your second stitch marker. And then you're going to repeat the same thing you did for the first buttonhole. And you're just going to keep going until you have all four buttonholes created. So here I've all four buttonholes created. You can go ahead and make more buttonholes if you want. But once you have your buttonholes done, we're just going to continue in the regular ripping all the way around until you reach the other side. So once you reach the other side, you're just going to fasten off and then you're going to sew on your four buttons. And then for your armholes, you're going to do the ribbing the same way as the inner collar ribbing. You're going to attach your yarn to your underarm and you're going to single crochet all the way around, slip stitch into that first single crochet. Then you're going to chain seven and single crochet into the second chain and just keep going with the same ribbing process as you did for the inner collar. And then once you go all the way around, you're going to sew the two ends together to close that ribbing. And then you're just going to fasten off and weave in all your ends. And once you have your ribbing on your armholes completed, we're just going to start working on the pockets. So for the pockets, we're going to chain 20. Once you have your 20 chains, we are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Then double crochet into the next stitch. And then single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. And then your last stitch of the row should be a single crochet. So at the end of this row, you should have 19 stitches. So for the next row, chain three, this counts as your first double crochet. So turn your work, skip that very first stitch, and then into the next, make one single crochet then double crochet into the next, single crochet into the next stitch, and then double crochet into the next, and you're going to repeat that all the way across. And then your last stitch should be a double crochet. So you're going to repeat those two rows a further six more times. So your next row is going to be chain one, single crochet into the first stitch, then double crochet into the next and keep going 
So now you should have 14 rows completed. For the next row, we're going to chain one and then turn our work. And we're going to back loop, slip stitch into every stitch all the way across. So from here on, you're just going to do six rows of your pattern. So you're going to chain one, turn your work, single crochet into that first stitch, double crochet into the next, single crochet into the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. That leaves us with five more rows. So the next row after this row, you're going to chain three, turn your work, single crochet into the next, double crochet into the next. And just repeat that pattern until you have a total of six rows completed. Once you have your six rows completed, you're going to fasten off and leave a long tail. Your tail should be about maybe 20 inches long. So now you should have one small square that looks like this. So next you're just going to flip over the top where the slip stitch row is, just like this. And then you're just going to stitch this to your vest. Before you stitch your pocket to your vest, just sew a button to the top of the middle part of the top flap of your pocket. So this is what the vest should look like now with the pocket sewn on. All you've left to do now is just weave in all your ends and you're good to go. If you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Leave a comment down below what you want me to make next. And don't forget that the free written pattern is on my blog, crochetwithcarry.com. Until next time, take care.